morning on this rainy, ugh, not such a nice day. Um, today I'm talking about nutrition. I've got Max, the pit bull. He's over working on place. Rose over here working on place. All the dogs are out doing their work while I talk to you about nutrition. And why am I talking about nutrition today? Because Max, the pit bull, who's here, um, has allergies and is on allergy medication. He's on two different kinds. Hi, Jen. Good morning. Uh, it's yucky out, isn't it? Hello, whoever tuned in. I'm not sure who that is. Um, but I'm going to talk to you about um, allergies um, and how they can affect behavior and also what you can do about it. So first and foremost, um, Max has hot spots all over his body and they're just like everywhere. Um, and he, you know, he's, he's like constantly at them. He's kind of like a whiny dog, like if he doesn't get his way. And I do think in part, some of it is because he doesn't feel good. Um, he's constantly, um, you're building an ark? Cool, come get me girl, I'll bring my dogs on board. <laughs> um, so I think in part, um, it's his behavior, um, just in part, this is a small piece of it, but I do think that he's not feeling his best and that does uh, impact his behavior. So um, like I said, he's on the allergy meds, but quite honestly, um, I'm not sure how much they're helping because he's still got all these hot spots, um, red spots, and he's constantly at them and they're starting to open up. And so um, I do wanna talk a little bit about food um, because I believe that this is a um, healing him, his allergies starts from the inside out and that's with food. So he's on a, a pretty darn good kibble. It's Taste of the Wild. So if you go to dogfoodadvisor.com, um, that's how I can tell if food is good. Um, and it's like four and a half out of five star rated. I'm not sure the protein that he's on. So there's all different kinds of Taste of the Wild. Um, but if your dog's on like say chicken, um, that's that can be like a, a, a highly allergenic protein and so I would avoid chicken um, and as I said I don't know which one he's on um, but what you want to start to do is go to dogfoodadvisor.com and look up your food and then it always goes through all the ingredients and that the ingredients that are in question are in red bold red and then you scroll down and what's interesting about taste of the wild is it has brewers yeast which can be highly allergenic. So, um, first and foremost, switching up his food regardless, like getting on a totally different brand. I would go for a more novel protein. Um, lamb and I believe turkey and duck are um, better for dogs who have allergies. Um, if you have like a pet eatery near you, like a boutique store, um, they're usually, they have a wealth of information on different foods and kibbles. Um, I know that my dog Chase um, has a lot of food issues, not necessarily allergies, uh, but we've been on this, this whole uh, summer was really hard for him. He was having a lot of GI issues and we went through many different, very high-end, um, highly rated kibble, five-star, and he still wasn't able to handle it. I ended up switching to uh, raw for him, which I gotta tell you, I've never seen a seven-year-old with so much energy and the, the muscle. Um, I, he looks so good, his coat is gorgeous, and he's got energy like I've never seen. So um, it can be cost prohibitive, it's very expensive. Um, but his health is so much better and he's got zero GI issues. So, um, my girl Phoenix is on um, another high-end kibble um, and she's doing very well with that, so no issues there. Um, but that was, yeah, salmon and venison are good too. Yeah, Jen, it's true, they are. Um, I did notice with Chase, he sort of, he had been on salmon kibble for um, many years and now he can like not even have raw like fresh salmon it really just doesn't sit well with him so I think if your dog is having this it's kind of like with people if we eat the same thing every day we're likely to develop um, a, a, you know allergies hey Joan um, we're likely to, to develop allergies to those foods if we eat them all the time same with our dogs so um, I would recommend switching to a different protein and uh, a kibble that doesn't have grains in it and has like less ingredients. 
So you're going to kind of become like a label reader, much like when we go to the store, we're looking at labels or we should be looking at labels to see what exactly are we eating. Um, so that's my first recommendation, dogfoodadvisor.com. Check out your food um, and go from there. Make some changes. The other thing I'm going to suggest, and this is what Max has been on while he's been here, um, a probiotic um, and also vitamin C. Um, why is that? Because a probiotic is great for gut health. Um, I think every dog should be on a probiotic. Um, this one is Probiotic Max, um, and it's by Pet Pet Pharmacy. Pharmacy is with an F. Um, you can get it on Amazon, or I think it's cheaper at Pet Pharmacy. And then this is Cran Tri C. So this just supports the the immune system. It's vitamin C for dogs. Um, and um, this, my dogs get this every day or mostly every day. Sometimes I don't give the vitamin C all the time. Um, but Max has been on this. It is to help support his immune system and just to help his gut function. Um, I think he likes the taste of it because he's actually eating his kibble a little bit more and he's not a real big fan of his kibble, which is another good reason to try and change. Um, if your dog doesn't like their kibble, change it up. Maybe they just are not crazy about it and then they're not getting the nutrients that they need. Um, kibble, it's a processed food, so at, at the very least we want to give them a kibble that they're going to eat and that they enjoy um, so that they can get the maximum nutrients from it. Um, so I just want to make sure that I am covering everything I did. Um, this is very basic and you know Max's owners like you may have already I'm sure you've talked to the uh, vet about his allergies because he is on medication per their instructions they may disagree with what I'm saying I'm not a vet this is just my experience in dealing with you know learning from other dog trainers um, who are like masterful at nutrition like they really excel at it and I know the very basics right but it's also my experience with my guys and other dogs that come through here. Um, I see a lot of food issues. Um, and when the kibble gets changed, the dog does better. Um, especially if you can go from kibble to raw, um, that, that would be awesome. But like I said, extremely expensive. I mean, it's really expensive. So those are the things that I recommend. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for listening. And um, I hope we get sun soon. This is not such a nice day. Take it easy, guys.